did you worry about what happened between 1994 and 1996, in particular 1996? Because that's really when the lawsuit occurred. <laughs> they did have a period of a time. What happened then? Well, they do have a misstep at that point uh, because their product wasn't right. And they, they, they build their business really on the reputation of this kind of waterproof. Uh, they're the first guy who really come up with this concept of waterproof. And so they did, uh, you know, sort of mix, they send mixed signals of both waterproof to shoes and non waterproof to shoes. And, and in marketing, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. And it confused the market and it confused the integrity of their claim and, and, and they suffered. But even with that year, the revenue pretty much has still gone up. I mean, they have a one year of a blemish. Most of the time, they have executed their business quite brilliantly. Yes. Yeah, we had the closing relationship with the son of the company. Oh, no. Does that trigger the inside the trading company? It does. That's why I didn't really buy anything afterwards. You don't have to. You already bought everything at 28. You know, you know, when they go up, you don't. You just have to sit your ass on it. Don't have to do a damn thing. That's the good thing about really buying a good business. The business take care of yourself. I mean, as Chase said, you're riding up and down with the <clears throat> with, with with the strength of the business. And it, yes. How, how much time did you spend doing your due diligence before you bought your? Actually, no more than a couple of weeks. I mean, all of those surprisingly it doesn't take all that long. But but when the things happens, uh, you just have to really devote day and night into it, day and night into it. And that's why I'm glad my wife is actually here, so that I know all this missing by what I was doing. <laughs> you know, the opportunity like that don't come very often. So when it when it comes, you have to seize it. You have to do everything complete, but you have to do it fast. And that's why you have to train yourself all those times. And you don't have to do a damn thing. Put things into a bank. That's okay. You don't have to buy anything. But when opportunity comes, you have to jump on it. And that's what I did. When you finish all of the things, it doesn't take all that long, but you take intensive work for a short period of time. Yes? Do you, uh, do you normally find things on screens? Well, I like to read that one mostly because it's in itself is a good activity. I don't have to find anything. I learn. And I'm curious about all businesses. And that's why when opportunity can come, within a few seconds, you can tell. You can smell it. How can you really develop that smell? The only way to do that is just reading page after page. And value line is particularly good because it really put, you know, all sorts of different data and all sorts of, 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 of years, in not just one year. And so that's the you know, easiest way for you to really learn a whole bunch of different businesses. Yes. So, what percentage of your fund did you put in it? <laughs> I, I, I had to really keep that confidential, but a shitload. Of them. 